Hey everybody, welcome back to Do You Make Money? Because I do. My name is Brands. Today we're just going to be going over this email I received from Stable Fund. But before we get started, I just have to let you know I'm not a financial advisor and I do not give financial advice on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, tick the little bell icon to be notified when I drop more videos, and drop a comment in the comment section. It would greatly help me with the YouTube algorithm. So let's go ahead and get started. Email starts off by saying, hi, do you make money? Because I do. We'd like to inform you that due to the overwhelming negativity in our Telegram and Discord handles, we have decided to mute the chats. In the meantime, we request you to kindly join our new Telegram announcement channel to get all the stable fund updates. The link is provided below. This move in no way means that we won't be fulfilling the promises made to our community. We are working 24 seven in the background toward completing the refunds and building version two. In fact, our MasterCards are also finally here and ready to be deployed. Kindly check out the attachment for a video of the first metal MasterCard we just received. Those who have decided to roll over to version two know that version two will be a lot more transparent and sustainable. When it comes to version two, we are totally focused on the sustainability of the project rather than its growth. We are making a new we are making a few fundamental changes to make sure version two plug the holes that stable fund had. Again, we expect the refunds to be completed within the next two to three weeks time and version two to be launched by mid to end December. So now that I've read through the email, let's go ahead and talk about the email itself. Um, I haven't really been in the telegram too much because I tend to stay away from telegram, spending a lot of time in any telegram group that I'm in, especially if I'm involved in the platform or have investments in it, because usually it's either a echo chamber of, um, just people trying to pump up the price or be a bunch of uh, moon boys and girls, or there's a lot of people coming in there flooding the project and then it turns really toxic. So I just tend to stay away from Telegram. Um, I'm usually not in Discord either. I just tend to focus on the announcements, the AMAs, and uh, you know, just ride the price out wherever it may go up or down, or just, you know, just Try and keep a level head on what the project is doing just to keep the stress and the anxiety down. Now, receiving these emails, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be upset because they're used to being in the Telegram and uh, Discord. And by Stable Fun muting the chats, it's kind of a. To a lot of these people, it's a way to ease their mind speaking with other people about their investments and by muting the chat I mean the chat must have been like it says overwhelming overwhelmingly negative I can't attest to that again because I haven't been in it but you also get a lot of people asking the same questions over and over again or people harassing the admins or again a lot of FUD coming into the the chat but then again, you're cutting off a lot of your investor base, kind of keeping them in the dark. But the good thing about it is they do have the Telegram announcement channel. So you're still going to get announcements. It's just you're not going to be able to speak with other people anymore. You're not going to be able to communicate with other investors. So there are pros and cons to that. Unfortunately, with a lot of platforms, when they do close the chats, that means they're usually going to rug or scam out. But again, Stable Fun has a track record of paying back the people that have um, lost their investment. I believe it started with Stable One. So a lot of the people, they just have to wait, like it says, two to three weeks in order to get their refund. I have seen in the Telegram group that people had start had started to get their refunds and there has been some issues, I believe, with like ledger refunds and things like that. But um, 
they are rolling out the refund, so that is good. The other thing I wanted to talk about is version 2. I don't know how they're going to work that in with such a large investor base because they said here they're going to be more focused on transparency and sustainability. And I mentioned this in a previous video that if they have the same amount of people coming in, how is it going to be sustainable? So that led me to believe that not everybody is going to get in, but it's going to be a small concentrated group. And that is going to upset a lot of uh, stable fund investors. The transparency and sustainability of the project, that's a good way to move forward. And instead of, you know, like they say right here, they're, they're going to be focused on the sustainability instead of focused on the growth. So again, it leads me to believe that they're going to be focusing, focusing on a small particular set of investors to help grow the platform over time. And I'm wondering if they're going to bring in more and more people over time, but still try and keep it a more focused and sustainable project instead of it being what it was before. And I, I mean, I'm just going to say this. I don't have a lot of trust in the project because stable one went down, then stable fund went down and this will be their third, you know, their third try at creating a platform. The only thing that, you know, gives me a little bit of hope is that they're going to keep the group of investors small and that they're focus focusing on transparency and sustainability but you know again I, I mean i might not be able to be able to get in the group you might not be able to get into the group so that just leads us not being able to be investors and you, you know i mean what else are these people who are dedicated to stable fund people who have been long-term investors and believers in the project what are they going to do they're just going to be you know left out in the cold they're going to be watching, you know, all these other people making money within the project. So that's going to probably lead to a lot of negativity and a lot of hate and a lot of FUD. So we're just going to have to see because uh, they're talking about this coming out in mid to end of December. Hopefully, again, before this comes out, everybody's going to get their refunds because that's another issue. If people haven't gotten their refunds and this rolls out that's going to be a whole nother problem and a whole nother set of FUD and negativity that's going to be thrown at the project. So with all that said, overall, um, email, I'm sure a lot of you have received it and probably threw your hands up a little frustrated. You know, you're kind of just cut off from uh, the usual communication that you're used to every day. And again, I've seen this in a, in a lot of other projects. I've been in crypto since 2017, if you don't know. And I've seen this happen many, many, many times. Sometimes it's legitimate. Sometimes it's so that platforms can scam out. But again, I don't believe they're, that stable fund is trying to scam out. I believe they're trying to do the right thing, get people their money back, and create a better platform that is uh, sustainable. So let's go ahead and look at the uh, MasterCard. Let's see if I have the, I should have the video already up. Yes. So looks good. Looks uh, beautiful. Now, I don't know how this is going to work with the new platform says welcome to the last business card you'll ever need and it is this is the uh, owner of stable fund michael pardos hope i said that correct has a stable fund logo on it has the mastercard logo on it so it looks legit again i don't know how this is going to work with the new platform but that's a step in the right direction in my opinion so, you know, I hope this is enough proof for a lot of people that the cards are coming or that they are here. We will see what happens. We will see what's going to happen with the new platform. We're going to see how all this plays out. Hopefully 
if you're listening you'll be able to get in i wish you the best of luck i hope you get your refund and uh if any news comes my way i'll try and go ahead and make another video on it to keep you guys updated so if you enjoyed this video please give it a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel take the little bell icon to be notified when i drop more videos and comment in the comment section to help me out with the youtube algorithm i'd really appreciate it i will talk to you all later take care